Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Last Arrows Install. This one we are probably, probably going to finish the Miku's route. If not, I'm gonna have to drag it out to another episode with, uh, which I don't want to do because I really want to go into the ROC route immediately. In any case, let's immediately continue. Why is there no song? Ah, there you go. It's so peaceful. The time is 8pm, we clean up after dinner and those in charge of housework were given a moment to rest. I was doing nothing particular, simply lazing about while flipping through the TV channels. Don't you watch YouTube? Time for some reaction. Now that any interesting shows on, it's probably Miku. Just then I perked up to a voice of a familiar voice. I mean, I perked up to the sound of a familiar voice. And suddenly someone whom I knew quite well appeared on TV. <laughs> oh, if it's in Miku, she's on Prime Town TV. Miku had been working as an idol in secret, almost like an ominous celebrity. But ever since we met, she gave the okay to show her face. Hmm, it's surreal to see her on TV. I almost can't believe that she's my girlfriend. It's a dream come true to be dating an idol, after all. But that's impossible. But that's why, even so, it's probably for the best to keep our relationship a secret. It would be terrible if there ever were a scandal. Miku Izayo is insanely popular, after all. What do you mean by a scandal? I Maybe I should really be more careful. Wait, a visitor at this hour? I wonder who could it be? It's probably be Miku, what else? Yes, yes. Whoa, why are you here? Miku, you're here all of a sudden. Wait, were you on TV? Oh, that's right, it's not a live program. They must be playing a recording. I just saw you appear on my TV. More importantly, what's the matter? You finished work and came straight here? Alright. Well, isn't that good? At least you got a job. No, 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 I don't think that would happen, but it does sound like a lot of work. Well, maybe being busy is a good thing for you, though. There's no such disease. The fiancé, just because we haven't seen each other in a couple of days, can't you survive with me with that? that I mean, can't you survive without me that long? Just FaceTime or something. Isn't that the saying, 1000 years? Well, it makes me glad to hear you want to see me. You came over after working all day, right? I mean, that's flattering, I'm flattered, but Miku-san, if your fans were to hear you visit us on Guy at this hour of night... You will lose your job, girl. No, never mind, as long as you like. Let's stay as long as you like. Ah, I'm soft, I'm too soft, man. But there's no use if she's already here. Oh, that's so casual. That's no good. I mean, if it gets too late, I'll take you home. <laughs> Don't you need to work? Well, you know, Koru is here too, right? <laughs> oh, I messed up. Now I'm about to put my foot in my mouth. Uh, Alright, I understand. I'll think about it. Yeah, no problem. More importantly though, let's not stand here talking forever. Come inside, aren't you freezing? Are you okay with my room? If you want to rest, the living room has a sofa. I'm sure it'll be more comfortable enough. Now what about the mom, the dad, and the sister? Is it uh, not? Is it not their privilege too? All right, then make yourself comfortable.
Ugh, Miku snuggling up to me. I might be tired, but I find the flush side of her face sexy, and her lips look really soft. And those are words that Shida never says. Uh, I know, uh, no way in particular. I wasn't looking, I wasn't looking. Hmm, do it, do what? What is it okay for me to do? A lap pillow. Feeling comfortable, Miku? <laughs> right now, Miku's laying her head on my lap. I assume she's enjoying it as I stroke her hair. <sighs> I hear ya, glad you like it. So, this is what she meant by do it, while well, my lap's open for her anytime. You're always busy after all. Well, if this relaxes you at all, don't hesitate to tell me. I'll do anything in my power to help. Anything in his power, please. Uh, well, that's just saying. That's not to say what I can do anything. A favor? Um, is this sort of thing okay for your favor? Is this even alright to put on the screen? Wait a second, let me try to edit it out a little. Okay, never mind, I don't seem to be able to make this part darker, so yeah, whatever. But if that's what you want, wouldn't it be better to hire a massage? I don't know how to read that. Well, if that's the case, it can't be helped, right? This is how I found myself giving a Miku a massage, but this feels really wrong. Ah, don't make it so weird, okay? Alright then, please excuse me. Even considering that Miku's body is incredibly soft, I feel like if I apply too much pressure, she'll break. Alright, kinda like this. Then like this. Massage, this is the massage. Nothing suspicious about this at all. Nothing indecent has happened here. I think he should be embarrassed, but you shouldn't think thoughts like that. I know, here we go. Gah, I can't do this. Touching Miku's soft skin like this and hearing her make this voice. That's me feeling some kind of way. Miku, that should be enough, right? I'm sure you're pretty relaxed now, right? <laughs> Fine, alright, if I'm gonna do it, I'm doing it until you're satisfied. Feeling stiff anywhere else, madam? <laughs> Done, guess near the waist. Hmm. Huh. How's that? Alright then, around here, anyone else? A little more in a different place? Further down, where do you want me to touch? You're saying further down than your bottom, around here? Her legs? Right a bit further down. Whoa, no, 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 just where are you leading my hands? Why do you mean a bit further? If you're done, I'm stopping now. Flirt, wasn't this supposed to be a massage? If you insist, I'll keep going. So where else would you like me to massage? Leave it to me. This isn't a spa, you know. <laughs> 
Ugh, she's totally teasing me, then I'll be extra true. If that were the case, I feel like a choice screen will appear here. Oh wow, okay. What are you, a god? Well, in any case, let me check the message, and I mean, the website, so I can choose the right choices. Alright, so now we're gonna... The, I mean the website says to message her. Miku is totally open right now, I know I need to teach her a lesson, sure it sounds selfish, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay then Miku, we'll keep going, if it hurts, I'll stop. So just say so, okay? <laughs> She's totally let her guard down. Here we go, Miku. Then I'll do this. I'll order the entirety of the human body, the spots that are most ticklish are places where the skin is thinnest, first her armpit. Hmm, I can't hear you. What's the matter, Miku? Hmm, did I hear you say you want me to keep going? Looks like she's super ticklish. Then time to tickle her neck is one of the most sensitive parts on the body. Well, it's cliche, but here. Haha, <laughs> what to do? You just said you wanted me to keep going after all. Perhaps a little longer will do. Oh, she could always hear talk about awkward. Miku and I fell suddenly silent. Did she hear us? <laughs> we were only fooling around for a bit, but I'm starting to feel totally embarrassed when I realized Miku and I sat further apart. Um, I'm sorry, that's not for today. <laughs> Even in our embarrassment, we both exchanged nice smiles. Ah, oh, that's cute. How do you feel? Any more relaxed? Gotcha, if you ever need me, you know where to find me. It's nice to be needed now and then. Perhaps Miku's words were heartfelt, and she was blushing. Either way, I'm happy she enjoyed it. Oh, she suddenly looks so serious. It all happened while I was on the date. I had said that she could spend the night when Kotori was gone. She took me very seriously. Yeah, she said she's spending the night at a friend's house. I thought it would be good for her to have a change of pace, so I sent her off. Since they're letting her stay at the house, I wanted to give something as a thank you, but Kotori dismissed it, calling it embarrassing. I felt like a parent with a rebellious daughter. Hey Miku, are you listening? Uh, Mikasan, this is a random question, but what do you mean by no problems? What? Hey, let's calm down. Er, no, please keep it down, okay? Everyone's listening. What does it sound like I might me, the trio? I could hear quiet laughter from people around us, maybe even some terrible insults too. I'm, be I'm begging you, please don't say that stuff out loud. And you're an idol, so you should be more aware of your surroundings. Well, I do remember saying something to that effect. If I think about it, it's less of a problem if Kodori isn't home. But, but Miku, ordinary this is... Oh, when she gives me those eyes. Alright, you win, but I won't be able to offer you much in terms of hospitality. Oh, I crumbled in only two seconds. I'm such a sucker for her. But it's fine, but is that really something you to be happy about? Well, that happens from time to time, like when a spirit's apartment is unavailable or something. I see, because my girlfriend, I remember her saying she wanted to do things that the rest of the girls have done too. Okay, is that the case, then I'll give you a proper reception. Let's break for today and meet at my place. Don't come empty-handed, okay? I know, I couldn't do that to you after seeing how happy it makes you, and I'm always happy when my girlfriend's happy. 
still it be a sleeper with a coterie, is that really okay? Why is it not okay? That's your girlfriend though. Now then, that's the set up prep for dinner. I ended up making quite a feast, didn't I? I hope Miku likes it. She should be here any minute now, huh? I told her to come over as soon as she was ready, but she's taking her time. If Gori were here, I'm sure she'd say she's a girl, so of course she'll take time getting ready. Haha. <laughs> I know she's only a little late, but I'm getting nervous. No one else is here for sure, right? Oh, that surprised me. Perfect timing. Okay, just calm down and take deep breaths. Alright, here I go. Opening it now. Welcome, Miko. Make yourself at home. Why are you nervous? Go ahead, come inside. Oh, Dinner will be ready soon. Oh, that's right, Miku. Uh, I was just going to ask if you wanted slippers. Oops, um, sorry. Of course, I meant it's not much. Well then, I wonder if something's wrong. She's acting a little sus. Hey Miku, if you're not feeling well or something, we can do this another time. I see then, that's good. For now, come inside. Although something wrong with Miku. For the moment, we decided to go ahead with dinner. She's probably just afraid. I still have to play everything, but the food should be done soon. So go ahead and have a seat. Yep, just wanted to give you a reception. I thought I'd treat you, but then I kind of went overboard. I might have gone too far, as I ended up making a full course meal. Parboiled and chilled pork shabu, uh, whatever that is. Of course, then, as kipsu, oh wow, well, can you stop with the food? I'm not sure even I can finish all this food. At the start, I whipped something up quickly while I was waiting, but I got ahead of myself. Miku, is there anything you don't like? I see, I'm glad to hear you say that. Well, feel free to eat as much as you like. What do you mean? As she said this, Miku put out a small package. Oh, sandwiches, huh? You made it even though you didn't have much time? That's not true, the more the merrier. Either way, we decided to start eating. Firstly, I think I'll try the sandwich you made, Miku. No, can't do, especially since you made them. Let me try it. Hmm, it's delicious. The butter on the bread was a nice touch, too. Have you been practicing? This isn't a nice thing to say, but Miku never struck me as someone who was good at cooking, which means she had to practice a ton. I see that explained why she was acting so weird earlier. Miku, thank you. Here, please eat some of the food I made. There's a lot, so have whatever you want. Ah, oh, she recovered. Phew, I feel like I've eaten a ton, but there's a lot left over. That's good, well worth all the effort of making it. Well, that leaves the other half for leftovers, so I'll just consider it what's left and eat it tomorrow. Now then, guess it's time for a bath and then bedtime. <laughs> well, it's true that it might be a little early to get to bed. Hmm, then should we play a game or maybe watch some TV? It was a suddenly planned sleep over, so there wasn't anything in particular prepared. We could take a look at Kodori's movie shelves. Oh, what is it? Any suggestions? Nothing's planned, so I'm all yours. Anything reasonable, please? Well, that's what I meant was you could suggest anything you wanted, but... Oh, why am I getting the strangest sense of deja vu? Yeah, what do you suggest, Miku? A bath together? And so what had happened... What had ended up happening was a bath. No reason at all, just got some water in my eyes.
Hmm. Actually, I'm gonna save that for the next episode. I don't know why, but I feel like this episode has been gone on for too long, and I would like it to stop. So yeah, I'm sorry, but this will be the end of today's episode. Please look forward to the next one if you're interested in what's gonna happen. In any case, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Lose my mic fell off.